Okay, another fairly unknown but still very um, productive exercise for the chest and shoulders is using the seesaw method. Now the seesaw method identifies one side over another, so it's somewhat unilateral, but it can be very productive in terms of not lifting as much and still working your targeted muscle group. So for this particular um, exercise, I'm using the incline bench press and we're gonna do a seesaw method on it. But the seesaw method is applicable to a number of different exercises, such as the shoulder press, bench, incline, etc. So let me demonstrate. And again, it uh, requires obviously less load so that you can focus on the movement rather than trying to just lift as much as you can. So because I don't have an incline bench press, I'm set up on the rack. Anchor yourself down, feet placed under the bar, standardized grip, take the bar over the chest, and then it's one side after the other, so we're dropping down as far as our mobility will go, press up. And then alternate and press up. And then alternate and press up. So this is the seat stall method. As you can see, it requires a lot of stability and a lot of concentration. And when you're done, you back and Certainly not for everyone, but again, it just provides a further interesting aspect, interesting variation to the bench press, and particularly incline. So give it a go and see what you think.